Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation 2 to the power 13 plus uh, 2 to the power 10 plus 2 to the power a is equal to b squared. We need to find all possible values of a and b. So, let's start. This 2 to the power 13 can be written as uh, 2 to the power 10 plus 3 plus 2 to the power 10 plus 2 to the power a is equal to b squared. Now, by using this property a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. This 2 to the power 10 plus 3 will become 2 to the power 10 times 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 10 plus 2 to the power a is equal to b squared. Now, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2 to the power 10. So, this will become 2 to the power 10 as common factor and in bracket left uh, 2 cubed plus 1 plus 2 to the power a is equal to b squared. Next, 2 to the power 10 times this 2 cubed will become 8 plus 1 plus 2 to the power a is equal to b squared. Next, 2 to the power 10 times this 8 plus 1 will become 9 plus 2 to the power a is equal to b squared. Next, this uh, 2 to the power 10 can be written as uh, 2 to the power 5 whole squared times this uh, 9 can be written as uh, 3 squared plus 2 to the power a is equal to b squared. Now, this uh, 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32 squared times this 3 squared plus uh, 2 to the power a is equal to b squared and uh, by using this property a to the power n times uh, b to the power n is equal to a times b whole to the power n. This uh, 32 squared times uh, 3 squared will become 32 times 3 whole squared plus 2 to the power a is equal to b squared. Now, this uh, 32 times 3 will become 96 squared plus uh, this 2 to the power a is equal to b squared. We move this uh, 96 squared to the right hand side then this will become 2 to the power a is equal to b squared minus 96 squared. Now, here we have difference of uh, 2 squares. So, by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This will become 2 to the power a is equal to b plus 96 times b minus 96. Now, because at the right hand side we have two factors. So, we suppose that let 2 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power m times 2 to the power n. So, this equation will become 2 to the power m times 2 to the power n is equal to b plus 96 times b minus 96. Now, we can write this uh, 2 to the power m equal to b plus 96 and we can write this uh, 2 to the power n equal to this b minus 96. So, we get uh, two equations 2 to the power m is equal to b plus 
96 and uh, 2 to the power n is equal to b minus 96. Let us call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. Now, from equation 1 we subtract equation 2. So, this will become this uh, positive b will become negative this negative 96 will become positive. So, 2 to the power m 2 to the power m minus 2 to the power n is equal to this uh, positive b will be cancelled out with this negative b and this uh, 96 plus 96 will become 192. Next 2 to the power m minus 2 to the power n is equal to this uh, 192 can be written as uh, 64 times 3. Next 2 to the power m minus 2 to the power n is equal to this 64 can be written as 2 to the power 6 times 3 and from here we divide both sides by 2 to the power 6. Now, this expression can be written as 2 to the power m divided by 2 to the power 6 minus 2 to the power n divided by 2 to the power 6 is equal to this 2 to the power 6 will be cancelled out with this 2 to the power 6 and at right hand side we are left with 3. Now, by using this property a to the power m over a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. This will become 2 to the power m minus 6 minus this will become 2 to the power n minus 6 is equal to this 3 can be written as 4 minus 1. Okay. Now, we can write this 2 to the power m minus 6 equal to this 4 and we can write this 2 to the power n minus 6 equal to this 1. So, from here we get 2 equations 2 to the power m minus 6 is equal to 4 and 2 to the power n minus 6 is equal to 1. Next 2 to the power m minus 6 is equal to this 4 can be written as 2 squared because we have same base at both sides. So, we can write this n minus 6 equal to this 2. So, this will become m minus 6 is equal to 2 and from here we move this negative 6 to the right hand side then this will become m is equal to 6 plus 2 and m is equal to 8. Now, from this equation 2 to the power n minus 6 is equal to we can write this one as 2 to the power 0 and because we have same base at both sides. So, we can write this n minus 6 equal to this 0. So, this will become n minus 6 is equal to 0. If you move this negative 6 to the right hand side then this will become n is equal to 6. So, we get the value of m 8 and value of n 6. Now, to find the value of b we recall we recall equation 1. Equation 1 is 2 to the power m is equal to b plus 96. Equation 1 is 2 to the power m is equal to b plus 96. So, we replace this m with this 8. Then this equation will become 2 to the power 8 is equal to b plus 96 and 2 to the power 8 is 256 is equal to b plus 96 
and from here we subtract 96 from both sides so this get cancelled and from here we get the value of b is equal to 256 minus 96 is 160 this is the value of b now to find the value of a recall that we have supposed We have supposed that a 2 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power m times 2 to the power n. We have supposed that 2 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power m times 2 to the power n. So, in this equation we replace this m with 8 and we replace this n with 6. Then this equation will become 2 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power 8 times 2 to the power 6. Now, by using this property a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. This will become 2 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power 8 plus 6. Next, 2 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power 14. Now, we have same base at both sides. So, we can write this uh, A equal to this 14. So, from here we get the value of A is equal to 14. So, we have value of B 160 and value of A 14.